Good day, friends. So today's project, uh, we're doing a 64 look flip book. Uh, and we're using this Jane Davenport uh, Build Your Face stamp set. And what we're doing, I actually did this a while ago uh, when I was doing the Jane Davenport, uh, the ways to use all the face stamps and how to customize them and make, you, they make them your own. I showed that I had this little flip book in here that I did just to uh, preview, I guess, all the options you could do with the faces. And uh, I started decorating it and I didn't actually finish that, but essentially this is what we're making today. So, uh, I did that in a little handmade journal insert, which is what you can do if you like, but I'm actually going to do it in this book today, in my small Jane Davenport journal. So, you're going to need uh, four consecutive pages. So, let's just see if I can find that in here. Okay, I've got my four consecutive pages here. Uh, disclaimer, again, you know I love to cut corners, so if you find an easier way to do this, uh, by all means, go and do it. I've tried a million different versions, uh, just finding the best way to try and uh, teach it. Uh, but yeah, it involves a bit of measuring. So you're gonna need four consecutive pages, first of all. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of uh, make a grid, and you're gonna to to make the same grid on each page. So let's just be simple about it and measure out half the page. Well, you can make the half anywhere. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make the halfway point eight centimeters from the binding. So. All right, so you've got your uh, halfway point, and basically you want the half of this page as well. It doesn't have to be a half, basically you just want a cross section so that the middle point of every uh, of each page is the same, uh, because that's what we're going to use to make sure that we position the face stamps the same on every page. So, I'm going to go... I've done 8 centimeters in, and I'm going to say we'll go 11 centimeters down. All right, just to reiterate, you want the same grid on each of the four pages uh, because you want this center point to line up. So ultimately, our face is going to be over here. You could have it more over here or wherever you want, uh, but I just want the same midpoint on each of the four pages because what you're going to do then is measure a distance from this center, this center point here. You want to measure one centimeter down and then you want to measure one and a half centimeters down and rule those lines up too. Okay, so we've got the four pages and they're all gridded exactly the same way. So wherever you put your midpoint, you wanna measure a line that's one centimeter below that and then a line that's 1.5 centimeters below that. Now, I love to cheat, so it's been very difficult for me to actually uh, have the patience to do this properly and I'm still a little nervous that I I uh, maybe didn't do it as accurately as I should have, but guess what? It's an art journal, and at the end of the day, uh, it's just for your fun, so don't worry about it. If it doesn't line up exactly, you'll figure out a way to make it work. All right, so we've got the stamp set. Uh, I'm gonna get the head on this acrylic block. What you wanna do, these ears, I found that if you line them up with this top line, and then this little dash, I guess, here of the acrylic block, you wanna center that over this top line here. And you wanna do that the same on every single page. So it does take a little bit of eyeing up, and then you just wanna stamp it down. Now, don't stress out if it's not accurate, uh, you know, to the 0 .0001 of a millimeter, you'll be fine. Um, but try as best as you can to line that up. So again, you want to put the ears, the bottom of the ears on the top line, and you want to cross that dash right over the center line. That way your face is going to be in the same spot on each page. So when we cut it up and do the flip, hopefully everything should line up. I say hopefully because you know I'm so careless when it comes to doing things properly and accurately. But I did manage to make one before, so, and I didn't even measure that one out, so, <laughs> let's see. Maybe it's better when I don't measure it out. The pages all look the same right now. 
Now here's where you're going to change it up. What you want to do is essentially put one option on each of the pages. So I'm going to take these eyes first just to show you. Now you want to get these uh, in the top quadrant, in the top third I guess, one, two, three. And you want to make sure that they're center, so you've got that center line to work off of, so it should be pretty easy to line it up. You don't want to cross this line though, because this is the line we're going to cut. So you want the eyes to be above that line, keep them pretty close to it and centered, but you don't really want them to cross that line. They belong below the eyebrows and above that line. And you want to switch the eyes out for each page. Look how messy I'm getting already, there is brown ink everywhere. I love it. <laughs> now we're back to the start and we're going to do the noses. So you want to make sure you use all four and don't repeat any, otherwise when you flip you're going to have exactly the same choice. You want this right in the middle, if not just a little below, but make sure to not cross either of those lines. And the last part we're putting on the lips. You want these uh, probably more to the top of this line uh, than center. But again, making sure that you're in between this space and not touching or crossing those lines that you've drawn out as your guide. Those are your cutting lines. So anything you put above or below will be snipped off and uh, won't transfer when you use it as a flip book. The ink I'm using is uh, archival, uh, archival. It's Versafine Vintage Sepia. So it's waterproof. So unfortunately I can't rub off all the smudge marks. I wanted to make sure that you could see what I was doing. So if I was going to do this and make it completely customizable like I did with all the other uh, face stamps in the last video, uh, I could use uh, water reactive ink that would kind of bleed away once I was finished or working on it with wet media. Um, or maybe even a really light coloured uh, ink just because if I wanted to draw over these lips with red it's going to be a little hard because it's a dark, a dark colour. I'll probably still try to do it uh, but <laughs> just to keep your options open. But for the purpose of this video I've used a darker ink. So you can see I've made an absolute mess because I'm messy. But that's okay. Now the next step you can use scissors or you can use a cut, uh, craft knife. If you're going to use a craft knife make sure you put something down uh, underneath it. But I'm going to be really adventurous here and I'm actually going to cut all four pages at once and that's because these guides should be in exactly the same place on each page. So you'll just want to make sure you keep them straight the entire time and then cut away. You can cut it all the way to the binding if you want. Uh, what I want to do instead is actually put some washi tape over here just to kind of reinforce that and keep them all in the same place. And then I want to fold it over that washi. Then you're going to have a little book inside of a book. So you can see it already functions as a flip. You can uh, I guess audition the different faces you want to use if you're not sure what uh, what look you're going for and you want to make sure that you've uh, you know you, you planned it out if you want uh, you've essentially got your flip book so this is basically it uh, I'll show you what happens if you cut all the way to the line you're gonna want to make sure that you reinforce it especially if you're doing it uh, where some of these pages I mean if this is the opening of the book and you're cutting to the line you're essentially risking cutting that whole thing out unless it's all stitch bound which uh, this wasn't so I had to use washi tape to reinforce some of it and uh, and yeah but it's totally doable as well also if you want to create the flip section in a completely different uh, arrangement that's totally fine too if you don't want to put this cut down here you can see here I actually didn't cut the lips off from the neck so every flip has the neck uh, and the, the body attached to it. But this one I wanted to create uh, the bodies all different and interchangeable if I wanted to do that. Uh, but you can see here I've actually put an extra cut above the top of the head so that I could change the head pieces. Uh, this was fun but it's also a little challenging because 
you kind of want this to match up with this every time you flip it. And I found that changing the head pieces was uh, quite limiting once I'd set this style. Uh, so it's completely up to you. Uh, you can add in more cuts and flips down here if you want, if you want to completely do the whole thing. But the idea is to have the base the same on each page. So I found that this uh, is going to work for me today. And uh, if you want to stop there and just use it as your audition, uh, your face audition, uh, go for it. But if you want to take it a step further and decorate them, then keep watching because that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to time lapse it or I'm going to speed it up rather. And, uh, and yeah, just play and decorate and I'll come back and uh, explain to you uh, what I used and how I did it and show you the end result. All right, so I'm starting just by uh, bone using a bone folder and basically just uh, going over those folds and making them really nice and sharp so that the pages will lay flat when I'm working on them. I also took the washi tape and just uh, went around all four pages. So I kind of bound them together in their own little uh, book. And I used the, the white, uh, the journal tape, the Jane Davenport journal tape for that. You can kind of see it's covering the other tape there. Uh, totally optional. You can even glue all that, uh, that margin on the left hand side where they're not cut. Uh, you can glue that together as well just to, I think it's fun to have it like a little book inside of a book, but it's totally up to you. Do whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, I just went in with the same skin tone on uh, each page, a really fair skin tone. Uh, I had some delusions of grandeur, uh, thinking I was going to use all the leftover product on the left to make an image, but I, I gave up on that pretty quickly because it took a while to decorate. Uh, essentially there's, you know, four different faces to decorate and then I, some, I started on the back of some of the pages, but it, uh, it was just taking a long time and uh, normally I'd love to play like that, but I got so much to do lately. So uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't spend as long as I wanted to on this one, but it's fine because I have them in other books and uh, you know, the journals aren't going anywhere. I'll always, I'll find a time one day to sit down and, and add more. You know me, I'll add more until forever. The, I add so much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just using the Jane Davenport acrylics, watering some of it down, uh, then using it really thick, then taking a stencil and going back over some of the watered down parts and uh, yeah, just building up a bit of texture. Uh, I was just going for playtime here. I finally set up my new workspace, so um, it's nice to have uh, the space and the freedom to be able to get out the acrylics and, uh, and all the messier stuff that I've, I've not really used lately. So uh, I'm really enjoying that. And uh, because it's on the gorgeous Jane Davenport uh, journal paper, uh, I can use all the wet media I want, and it's not really going to do anything to it. Uh, it takes all of that stuff really well. Uh, you can see here I got a little heavy handed with the eyes, um, and this is one of those rare moments where I try to save something. Uh, I've learned to go with it, but late, I don't know what happened to me to this day, I guess I caught the perfectionist bug, but uh, then that pen <laughs> leaked all over the eye. <laughs> it was crazy. The more I tried to save it, the worse it was becoming. So I just, just I called it a day and, uh, and left it. You gotta learn to love it, don't you? But I did put washi tape over it. <laughs> so did I really learn to love it or did I just completely cover it up? It doesn't matter, I love it now. Um, so yeah, I just went into it with some washi tape and um, you can see I'm being really messy about this. Uh, uh, even like, I didn't keep most of the original stamp there. I've, I've been working over the top of it, especially with the paint and uh, and the pen and like kind of reworking some of those features like I did uh, when I first did the Jane Davenport stamp tutorial um, because I just, I can't help myself. I love to, I love to make them look different. I love to alter them all. I just can't leave them the way they are. I'm an idiot. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, this is what I've been doing with them. It was just a lot of fun to play. I, uh, this was me trying to use up the rest of that Derwent graphic marker because it just bleeds every time I use it. It just, the, the, it floods. Um, and it, it just, it's starting to ruin a lot of my pieces. So uh, I wanted to make sure I used it all up and that was the end of it. I, there's no more after this video, it's gone. I used it all up. It's, I'm not gonna purchase that one again. <laughs> um, but yeah, learning curve. You know, maybe it works for you. D definitely didn't work for me. So I'm going to try uh, something else. Uh, what else I enjoyed about this was, um, I guess, just keeping it really loose and free. I, I This is time, time lapse. This is um, sped up. So you can't actually see the, the real speed that I'm working at. But it's uh, it's actually quite quick for me. I was trying to... 
uh, I don't know, I guess be really, really loose and um, unintentional with how I was working. Uh, I wanted to see if uh, I'd gotten any quicker or any better quicker um, because like sometimes I can work really, really slow. But uh, as it turns out, no, I haven't got as much control <laughs> when I'm working this quick and things became very, very messy. But I don't think it's the end of the world and especially for this, I mean, it's just a lot of fun playing and it's a flip book inside of an art journal, you know, I'm not selling it, it's not going anywhere, it's just fun for me to look at. If I want to go back and add stickers and washi tape and glitter glue over the top, like, I can, I can go and do that and jazz it up a bit. But, um, yeah, this was just, um, I guess more, oh, I don't know, therapeutic art supply play. Just having fun with acrylics again, because it's been so long, I feel like, since I've used all these acrylics. Um, but yeah, the... I guess the purpose of the video has been explained already. The rest of it is just decorating and, um, you know, nothing, nothing too fantastic. Just easy stuff, really. <laughs> Finger painting and using a pen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyway, if you want to go and have a, a go at your own flip book, make it in an art journal, make it in a planner insert. You can even do it on loose sheets of paper and washi tape them together. You can staple it together. You can do whatever you like and you can leave it uh, just as the stamps and use that to um, plan out your faces before you stamp them down. Or you can completely decorate them and make your own flip book. You could even write a story to go with it. Um, it's all fun. It's, uh, it's, it takes up a lot of time too. If you're looking for a project that you can work on for a, a little while, uh, this would be one, a good one to commit to. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, it's just super fun to flip through. I love anything that's interactive in my journals, anything with a bit of visual interest and especially all that color. So it was great to pull out all my Jane Davenport mixed media supplies and, uh, get her, uh, rainbow-itis. Uh, back in back into the swing of things in this journal. So uh, I'm going to show you the the final flip through I guess there you can make about I think it's 64 if my math is right it's 64 different looks So I can't show you all of them because we'd be here forever But I'm gonna flip through and uh, and just show you what it looks like in the end and uh, how fun it is to to mix and match the faces. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you, again, if you do it, uh, make sure you share with us your final creations on social media so we can share the love. And uh, I'll be back with another Davin Party project soon. Bye.